Julia Shwakhamina was one of the first Kurdish fighters to resist Saddam Hussein's regime. He says he's no longer a fighter. His gun, though, is always close by. Dulia used to be a member of one of the two main secular Kurdish parties. Now he supports the Islamic opposition, a growing trend amongst Kurds. I joined the Islamic group because it is on the right course. This party is fighting not only for a religious cause, but also to defend the Kurdish people. We want to preserve our Islamic and Kurdish identity. And this is how the Islamic group of Kurdistan, one of the main Islamic opposition parties, is spreading its message. TV and radio stations promote the party's vision of an Islamic democracy. The Islamic group are becoming increasingly popular, especially amongst young people. In the 2005 national elections, they won over 60,000 votes and two seats in the Iraqi Transitional National Assembly. Our goal is to operate politically both in Kurdistan and in the whole of Iraq and to bring people back to Islam, inviting them to stick to its principles and ethics. But the leading Kurdish Democratic Party, or KDP, deny there's been a rise in support for Islamic parties. A senior KDP member did admit, though, that Kurds are becoming increasingly put off by the corruption apparent within some of the secular parties. The Islamic parties have not made progress or become more popular in Erbil, despite the fact that they are part of the democratic process in Kurdistan, and although they have these bright new slogans. But the slogans do seem to be having some impact. Gatherings like this one taking place in the area between Erbil and the mixed northern Iraqi city of Kirkuk promote a sense of unity which has a huge appeal amongst the people. Leader Ali Bapir is seen here as someone who can bring all Muslims together and has fashioned himself as the non-corrupt alternative to the old faces in Kurdish politics. We gather today for the sake of uniting Iraqis after the tragedy of our country. We want to prove to the world that religion can unite us regardless of our sex. We are all Muslims and should serve Islam. We also encourage our Muslim sisters to serve our religion through different activities. Recently, Kurdish Islamic parties have broken with tradition by decentralizing power and bringing in new senior members. They're trying to modernize to attract voters. But the region has a history of secular politics that some analysts say Islamic politicians will find hard to break.